In the last lecture, you got an overview of what we're going to cover in this course and really the 10 strategies that we're going to use to increase your Twitter followers. We also covered why that is a good goal to have. Twitter followers are like Facebook fans, YouTube subscribers, and they'll really help you become a influencer, build relationships and drive traffic and sales on demand. Now, in this lecture, we're looking at why Twitter. As I said, this is the fourth marketing channel we're looking at. So let us use this lecture to really understand uh, a little bit of the history and the size of Twitter and also how it's unique and different to the other social media uh, marketing channels that we've looked at. Finally, we can do this very quick exercise to uh, convince you, I guess, that Twitter is really for you. And uh, what we'll do is just type in your keywords, topics or competitors names to Twitter search. You don't need an account to do this. And uh, I think that'll really show you that there are a lot of conversations around your topic happening on Twitter. So let us get into the first point here. Why Twitter? Well, there's really 320 million active users on Twitter. If I open this up here, I'm going to show you how that compares to really the size of other social media profiles. So what we have here is a comparison to the other social media profiles. So you can see that Facebook is by far and away the biggest social media platform 1.5 billion. If you remember, then Instagram, and Twitter is in position number three. So it's still the third biggest social media platform in terms of monthly active users, which is the mo most accurate um, measure of uh, activity and users. And so you can see that it's still in a very strong position. Now, the other thing is that it's been around since 2006. So let us have a look here. This is an interesting infographic that I found when I was putting the notes together for this uh, section of the course. And I thought it was pretty interesting and a good reminder to kind of share with you. So Twitter was launched in 2006, uh, just after YouTube and Facebook. So some of the biggest social media platforms still around today came out at this time period. Now, much later on from 2010 to maybe now, we have, I guess, the second wave of social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, etc. And um, Periscope and all these guys. So this is how the timeline has worked out. It's still around and it's still a very powerful platform. It's also an international powerhouse with 79% of its users living outside of the US. So in the same article, it, it lists off uh, some of the details there if you want to see those. So even if you're not in the US where maybe some of these newer social media platforms are more popular they might not be popular in your country yet. Um, you know, it's Twitter has been around for a long time. It's the third biggest network. And uh, it is a big international presence, I guess, because of its age as well. So that is the first point. Now let us move on to the second point here, connect with people you don't know. This is really the key thing about Twitter. That's unique, how it can really help your business in a unique way, as opposed to um, maybe Facebook. So let us just remind ourselves, I'm going to come back to the Facebook marketing notes here. I think it's good uh, to draw comparisons between the uh, social networks to really understand the difference and the different value propositions. So if you remember, I think point number two, again, after size was that average Facebook users have 200 friends. And it's this social network that enables a viral marketing effect. So for me, that is the key way that Facebook can grow your business, that viral marketing effect and the social network that's built into Facebook. Now, Twitter is slightly different. The value proposition here is that you can connect with people you don't know. Twitter is a very open community. Almost all of the conversations uh, are public and searchable. And this allows you to discover new people with similar interests to yourself. So this could be customers uh, or potential customers talking about your topic on Twitter, you can just drop into the conversation because it's a public conversation, give helpful information, make them aware of you and uh, create a lead for yourself. You can also build relationships with influencers, influencers much easier than on Facebook and LinkedIn. And 
That's because Facebook and LinkedIn are more of a closed profile. To send a message on Facebook or LinkedIn, uh, for the most part, uh, they need to be friends with me, I need to be friends with them, or I need to be connected with them, they need to be connected with me. And that's not the case on Twitter. I can directly message, you know, the president, Elon Musk, a big any anyone you want to get in touch with, you can get in touch with them very easily. You don't even need their email address. You can get their attention publicly, um, and very few people ignore the uh, tweets that people get unless they're big guys, which they're going to ignore. But it's a very easy way to get in touch with people, to build relationships and to start a conversation. And that's much easier to do on Twitter than it is on these other networks. So not only with influencers, but with customers, this is a great place to really start a conversation. Now, the third reason and maybe second reason that Twitter is different and better than other social networks and marketing platforms is that news breaks faster on Twitter, uh, news breaks faster on Twitter than anybody else. So you can find news or links to industry related articles really easily, get them straight from these influencers. You can identify, identify trending topics and use Twitter search to tap into millions of opinions when creating new content. So you can really see what people are interested in, what people are engaging with, arrange your topic before you start to create content and you can really crowdsource a lot of content from uh, Twitter. So if you're not sure if Twitter is for you, let's do this quick exercise. What you want to do is go to Twitter search, no account is required, type in your business keywords, topics or competitors names. And we're really going to see if people are talking about your topic. So I'm going to open this up in an incognito tab here just to show you you don't need an account to do this. And we're just going to type in one keyword here, uh, SEO. And I'm just going to click search here. So what I can see now are some of the accounts. So people talking about this particular topic. And if I come across actually, I can just come to accounts. And this will show me some of the most influential people on Twitter talking about this topic. Now, if you do have an account, you can go and follow these people straight away. But what I can see is I know some of these people in this topic. I've seen their blogs. I've seen them elsewhere. And uh, what I can see is that a lot of people here, a lot of the influencers are on Twitter, which is fantastic to see. Now, let me click into some of the profiles here to see if they're active on Twitter. I can see, look, they're getting a lot of engagement here and uh, they're sharing their thoughts, which is fantastic to see. So definitely for me, after searching only one of my keywords, I can see that there is a lot of people in here and uh, basically you can do the same process over and over again. I can also maybe look at a, or search for, I guess, a competitor name or someone doing something similar to me and see what kind of content has been shared of theirs. You can see their account um, and you can see a lot of people mentioning them, getting involved. So there's clearly conversations here about my topics, my competitors. And uh, so Twitter is definitely going to be a place for, for me to, to get value out of as well. So I'd encourage you to do that quick exercise before we move on. I think that'll help you understand a little bit how Twitter works. And that's what we're going to cover in the next lecture. So I'll see you there.